Um, Richard is sometimes accused, you've heard it, of being overstrident before my voice went. I sometimes got accused of it too. <laughs> it's, um, it's a bit more reasonable in my case. I'm a sort of street fighting polemicist from way back. I ask for it and I get it and I can dish it out. Richard is the defender of a great discipline, a wonderful discipline in biology, with revolutionary and transformative power in the way we think, in our attitudes to medicine, into our attitudes to our origins, and to finding out how beautiful and rare and wonderful, even miraculous, reality really is when we look it in the face. How should he not be strident? to see his discipline being attacked and defamed, to see attempts being made to drive it out of the academy, to have the uh, pseudo-scientific garbage taught now under the rubric of equal time. In the old days, the fundamentalists, if they could ban something, did ban it, as the Scopes trial proved. Losing that battle, they decided to go for equal time in an American way, fairness. Now they want it to be a sort of civil liberties and free speech issue. They've even got President Bush at one point to say, let's teach the debate. Well, by all means, let's teach the debate. But only in history class, or perhaps in civics. What we're not going to have is, well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoy the chemistry period. Be ready for alchemy when you come back after the break. <laughs> <laughs>